Hello everybody, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, today we're looking at this um, woman who is supposedly a convert to Islam from, I guess, atheism. Hi everyone, um, this is just an update from my previous video. Uh, I actually expected the video to get like a few views um, and I thought it wasn't going to get many positive responses either, so it's been great. So thanks to everyone who's um, commented and supported me. Um, and just a few people who clearly have different views on the matter, you're welcome to leave respectful comments, but just don't call me dumb or stupid because I'm not going to listen. Oh, so other Muslims were calling her dumb and stupid and she didn't really like that. trying to help by giving me useful websites so thanks for that but I'm trying to just be really careful because I don't want to go onto any misleading websites that may bring me away from Islam um, so I like to use my websites that I know are very oh so you're gonna blind yourself off to everything else and people who expose Islam and you're just gonna go into your own shell and believe that Islam is true no matter what you hear okay teachings of Islam about no alcohol, no pig meat, even though I don't eat pig anyway, but yeah, um, all that sort of thing. Um, I used to go out and get drunk and then walk home in the freezing cold for an hour, and I actually realised what a vulnerable situation I put myself in, walking home at 4am drunk. <laughs> so um, I'm really grateful and glad that I see alcohol in a different view. Um, I don't see the point in intoxicating my body and damaging my health in later life, and Islam has been able to make me realise this as well. Um, the main reason I brought that up is because I read from the Bible that at Jesus' last supper he turned water into wine. Some people have said it is allowed but only if you intend not to get drunk, but I don't see how that justifies it, because um, it's still intoxicating your body. So. Well, not if you're getting drunk. Now, here's how dumb people are who teach the Bible, who are Muslims, and how people don't listen or don't go and do the research for themselves and just jump into a religion having no idea what it teaches. Okay, sure, you're not allowed to drink alcohol or eat pork, but you're going to be a slave for eternity if this religion is true. In the heaven of Allah, you will be a sex slave for the man for eternity. That's all you are is your reward for them. According to Islam, a man can beat you Husbands can beat their wives, and you're just lucky that you're living in the West. If you weren't, you would see what they would make out of you. Um, moreover, to show how false they are and whoever taught you that, it wasn't his last supper where he turned water into wine. It was in the um, the wedding at Cana, which was um, other than the virgin birth, it, so it would be about his second miracle. And... He did that because it was a wedding party and they had run out of wine. It was also symbolic that he was the new covenant. In the Bible, it is quite clear that wine is symbolic of a covenant. You don't mix um, old wineskins and uh, new wine into old wineskins or they'll burst. And so if you actually understood deep spiritual truths, you would know that and what the symbolic reasons behind this was. It was also so that people would enjoy themselves as a, at a wedding party because we're not uptight um, people like Muslims who, when you're playing music at a wedding party under Al-Qaeda control, they come in with AK-47s and shut it down and shoot people, as you can find on YouTube the video about this. Here's what the Bible says about drinking. But, now I'm writing, th I'm writing you that you must not associate with anyone who calls himself a brother, but is sexually immoral or greedy, an idolater or a slanderer, a drunkard or a swindler. With such a man do not even eat. 1 Corinthians 6.10, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor sl slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Um, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like, I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. So it's all over the Bible that not to be drunk. But what does it say? Yes, a little bit of wine is good for your body.
That's what it says in 1 Timothy. Because the water was no good at the time. The water was filthy. So by Christ also doing his miracle at the wedding, he was purifying the water, giving it a spiritual water. And it's funny how you will say that, okay, well, well, um, uh, Islam does not promote drinking wine. Well, it's funny how in one verse in the Quran, it says that um, that it's that wine is from Satan, and another verse it says that um, wine is from Allah. Um, but your God offers you rivers of wine in heaven. At chapter se seventy-six, verse eleven. But Allah will deliver you from the e from the evil of that day, and will shed over them a light of beauty. And a blissful joy. Well, of course, this is a false promise because Allah did not was not able to del deliver anybody out of 125,000 prophets. All of them failed to do their message, and He couldn't deliver their message except the one. And and Satan screwed your God big time. And because they were patient and consistent, He will reward them with a garden and garments of silk. What kind of stupid reward is this either? Also. Reclined in the garden on raised thrones, they will see neither the sun, sun's excessive heat nor the moon's excessive cold, and the shades of the garden will come low over them, and the branches of fruit there will hang low in humility, woo, -hoo! and among them will be passed round vessels of silver, and goblets of crystal. Well, we all know that um, cups of silver are poisonous. And, wow, trees are going to come and walk to you, as one hadith says. Crystal clear, made of silver, they will determine the measure thereof according to their wishes. Ooh, you will say what will be in the cup, and they will be given to drink it there a cup of wine mixed with zanjabil. And so you're given wine. Um, upon them will be green garments of fine silk and heavy brocade. brocade. And they will be adorned with bracelets of silver, and their Lord will give them to drink of a wine pure and holy. Verily, this is the reward for you. Your endeavor is accepted and recognized. It is we who have sent down the Quran to be thee by stages. Oh, so everything filthy on earth that we're not allowed to do um, because it's wrong, your God is allowing it in heaven and permitting you to do it. Yet that's okay for you? Heaven is supposed to be a holy place, but you will be drunk and given to wine. Or some Muslims say, it's not wine that gets you drunk. So what, your God is offering you grape juice? Anyway, I realize that I strongly disagree with that as well. So, yeah. Um, also, I'm learning how to pray at the moment. And I found this really, really, really helpful site that gives a step-by-step -step guide um, on how to with the actions and everything so it, if anyone's interested um, in looking at that site it's on the side um, I know I'm not is that really a prayer even all you're doing is reciting the words of Muhammad is that from your heart is that from your soul you know imagine if I wrote a letter to to you guys here on YouTube and all you did was read it back to me five times a day is that anything Video is going to be my shahada, and I will start to wear um, the hijab as well. So, inshallah, um, soon I'll have that video up. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Wow, you wear your hijab and um, you pray five times a day. You know, Jesus warned us about these people that would go and talk about their deeds. That, okay, gr great, you pray five times a day. But is it a prayer really even? All you're doing is reciting back words. And you have no idea what you're saying. Most of the 75% of Muslims don't even know how to speak Arabic. They have no idea what they're saying. And here is a God who doesn't understand other languages. And you have to only pray to him in one language. Anyways, that's enough, guys. Take care. God bless you. Bye.